Hey guys, thanks for joining in. So today I'm gonna to be talking about DTF powders. Now there are different DTF powders in the market between sizes and also color. So typically what we use is going to be a white powder and there's also black powder. So I've been asked to do a video to compare both and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. So we're gonna be using a black t-shirt. It's a Gildan G200. And a lot of people, when they're printing white prints on black shirts, they get sort of a bluish tone. They're not sure if it's the white ink or if it's the garment. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how we press this on, see if there's a difference, see if you need to stock both of them or if you're good with just one powder. So for the regular white powder, I'm gonna be putting this on the left side of the shirt. And for the black powder, I'm gonna be putting it onto the right. So I cured them the same way. They both have the orange peel feel to them. They're both fully cured. And I'm gonna be pressing this at 325 degrees for 10 seconds. I'm gonna let it cool down for a bit. Now that it's completely cold, I'm gonna go ahead and peel. I'm gonna put the shirt back into the press. Ten more seconds. Now let's check out the print. Now what I'm seeing is the black powder being slightly a bit brighter. Um, in regards to the powder itself and the quality of, of things, I know that the black powder is a little bit easier on the black t-shirts, uh, especially if you're not printing the t-shirt or the prints correctly and you get any type of overspray and you get any type of powder residue on the side uh, with the black powder you definitely don't see any of that at all and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stretchability test and see if there's a difference it's also very stretchy it's soft Let's touch the black. Also very stretchable in regards to feel. In regards to feel, I, I do want to say that the black powder is a little bit softer. This one has slightly a bit more of a rubbery texture to it, even though it is very, very soft. The black just glides a lot smoother. What I'm gonna be doing is uh, letting this sit for a bit for a few days. Um, see, see after a few days if there's any difference between the prints and the colors. But as far as the brightness, they're both just as good. Um, you know, we do use DTF, DTF Pro Powder. Um, so, in regards to the quality, it's definitely great. I'll drop a link below for any of the products that we use on this test. And if you have any questions, make sure you guys leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer it for you guys. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and tune in for more how-to videos.